everybody what's up so today i'll be making an asian style creamy spaghetti carbonara the main idea behind this dish is to create an asian style and an asian flavor to the creamy carbonara which many carbonara recipes does not have this type of variation so the main story behind this dish is that when i was in my younger days i always remember sneaking out and having western food for my lunch and my parents won't really like it because um, they always think that Western food is very unhealthy and it's full of oil. So right now I'll be creating a healthier version and a creamier version of the Asian style spaghetti carbonara. Okay, so to make this Asian style creamy spaghetti carbonara, you will need to cut two cloves of garlic and one whole onion into slices. A handful of spaghetti or more according to your preference. Two slices of ringless shortcut bacon cut into 1 cm pieces. 150 ml of cooking cream. Two handful of parmesan cheese shaving or other cheese that you prefer. And not forgetting the seasonings, you will need approximately 3 tablespoons of olive oil for boiling the pasta and frying the onion. Lastly, you will need salt and pepper. So first of all, boil your hot water. Over here, I've already boiled some hot water. So I'm going to add it in. Approximately 750 ml to 1 liter, enough to cover the pasta. And then on your heat, set it to medium or high. And once it's boiling, you're gonna add in some salt and some olive oil. The purpose of adding the salt beforehand is to pre-season the pasta. And the purpose of adding the olive oil is to make sure that the pasta does not stick together when you're cooking them. All right, so today I'll be showing everything step by step from how do you cut the onion, the garlic, and the bacon. So right now the water has boiled. I'm gonna add in around one teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna add in a few drizzles of olive oil. Remember not to add too much because the oil will start cooking in a pan. Alright. So depending on how much you want to eat, just take it out, make it together, and drop it in. So get a towel and sit the pasta in. Right, so it will take around three to five minutes depending on the heat that you're using. So I'll set it to high heat as I'll be only cutting the onion and garlic and the bacon. So you would not need such a long time. So I'm gonna set it aside when it's cooking. I'm gonna get my chopping board right now. I'm gonna prepare the onion and the garlic. So over here, two cloves of garlic, get a knife. So there are two different ways of opening it. One is to press down lightly and to remove the skin. The other one is just to cut off, cut off the head slightly. And it's gonna make things easier when you take it out. So go for all the four sides and take it out. So one down and another one to go. And it's done. Get an onion, cut off the head and the tail. Cut in your half game. And then peel off the skin. So, Alright, peel off the skin. So I'm gonna slice both the onion and the garlic. Put it in the bowl as well. Alright, next up. Over here I have some shortcut bacon. And I've already give it a little wash, but make sure it's dry. So you can use any different cuts of bacon depending on what you like. Shrieky bacon. Or can use the ring on and the ring off. So slice it as well. And put it in a bowl as well. So when you're done with your vegetables, it's time to check on the pasta. So set it aside.
Remember to wash your hands. Each time you deal with me. Okay. So over here, the pasta is really beginning to cook. I'm gonna cook it to al dente. So what is meant by al dente? Al dente means that when you take up a strand and you feel the ends of one of the pasta, it's already soft, but it's not to the point where it's gonna break the moment you touch it. So all right, this is ready. I'm gonna off the heat. And I'm gonna strain it in the strainer and a colander. So I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna strain it in. Once it's done, put it one side again. Give your pan a quick rinse, or you can use another pan if you have one as well. So make sure it's dry before you on the heat and add in the olive oil. Okay, so I'm gonna on the heat. Next step is gonna be frying the onion and the garlic followed by the bacon. So okay, when the pan is hot and warm, and then a few drizzles of olive oil. So approximately 15 ml, 1 tablespoon to 2 tablespoon, depending on how, how much oil you would like to add. So alright, when the pan is hot, add in your onion and your garlic. Add it all in to cook. And then when it's cooking inside, you can break up the onion slices to make sure it cooks faster. So right now I'm cooking on medium heat as well. Alright, I'm gonna cook it till it starts to soften a little. So around two, two minutes. Okay, so it's beginning to soften right now. I'm gonna add in the bacon, which I already cut. Add it all in. So I'm gonna cook the bacon to the point where it starts to pop a little. So when eating the carbonara, the bacon must still be a little crispy. If you're not confident of using medium heat to high heat, you can reduce the heat down to low. So around 2 minutes to 3 minutes on medium heat, the bacon will begin to start popping. So right now, the popping sound has begun to increase. So I'm going to add in the cream. So I'm using a chicken cream. You can choose to use cooking cream as well. I'm going to add in around 150 ml to 200 ml, depending on how creamy you want it to be. So I'm going to add it in. And another 50 more ml. Alright, set it aside and then and then get your spatula. Make sure that all the onion and the garlic goes in the cream mixture as well. So I'm gonna reduce the cream down to half of what I poured in. Right now, I'm gonna add in the pepper and salt, and I'm gonna taste whether it's the seasoning that I want to. Right, pepper. And then a little salt to start with because I already added in salt in the pasta earlier on. So give it a taste. I'm gonna add in a little more pepper because I like it very peppery. So 
I'll give it a mix again. So when it's beginning to cook too fast, reduce your heat down to low to medium. And then give it another taste again. Yep. It's the seasoning that I'm looking for. Alright, so the cream has already reduced down to half. I'm gonna lower down the heat to low and add in the pasta right now. So stir around the pasta and make sure it doesn't stick. So add the pasta in. And then add in some of the pasta water as well. And set it and set it aside. So stir it around. Okay, do not cook the pasta for too long because it has already been cooked early on. Alright, so when the cream has already reduced by half of the heat, this is when you are going to add the cheese in. So for those who do not like too much cheese, just add in a small sprinkle of the cheese. I'm going to add in around 2 sprinkles of it. And the purpose of warming the heat and adding the cheese in, is to make sure that the cheese does not melt too quickly. So that when you are eating the dish, it still has that elastic texture. So you can choose which type of cheese you want to add. For me, I'm adding a shaved parmesan cheese inside. Okay, do not stir for too long. I'll add a little more cheese because it's still not cheesy enough for me. Okay, give it a quick stir. Alright, it's time to plate the dish. So set your pot one side. Get your plate ready. And your tongs. So I'm gonna add it all in. Okay, and it's done. So, I'm gonna give play a quick wipe as well. We're gonna taste the dish right now. Mm. Mm. It's really creamy. And, it, and the onion and the garlic adds a very flavorful taste to it. So over here, I've already made a spaghetti carbonara. Please try this recipe at home. And the ingredients are very easy to get as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment on what videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you very much.